Police response is pitting Democratic activists against the governor. Theo Keese joins us now. And Theo, the state has come to kind of a decision point over how to handle the crowds. Yeah, Karen, this week activists have taunted National Guard members and Democratic lawmakers are trying to ban the use of tear gas, putting them in direct conflict with the governor that some of them helped elect. Union activists kicked Minnesota National Guard soldiers out of the St. Paul Labor Center this week. Activists taunted the soldiers as they left and streamed it on Facebook. Condemnation came from both sides of the aisle. Governor Tim Walz, a former guardsman, tweeted, This is unacceptable. The treatment of the guard left several Minnesota labor unions dueling with each other Friday. It shows the struggle between Democratic activists who say the guard is an occupying force, escalating tension in the Twin Cities, and Walls, who says he is ultimately responsible for quelling disorder. The governor has sent 3,000 soldiers into the Twin Cities and has endorsed the use of tear gas against crowds in Brooklyn Center this week. The issue was also a flashpoint Thursday night in Brooklyn Center, where a hastily scheduled city council meeting even caught two council members by surprise. I was never phoned. This is inappropriate. At issue, whether Brooklyn Center still wanted outside police help from the county, state patrol, and National Guard. The mayor has called the use of tear gas inhumane. The police chief of neighboring Crystal, though, defended the use of chemicals, telling council members that officers have been hurt by the crowds. Our collective ability to continue to provide scarce resources depends on this partnership with you. After two hours behind closed doors, Brooklyn Center's council and mayor emerged, yet said little about their discussion. Not long after came an email from the city's newly hired PR agency, saying Brooklyn Center would keep accepting mutual aid, adding that cooperation with state and local government is critical to providing safety. Aides to the governor have told me this week, if not tear gas and less lethal force to control crowds, then what? And the governor has said he feared the Brooklyn Center police station would have burned to the ground this week without a strong police response. That would have been the second police station after the Minneapolis 3rd Precinct in last year's riots to burn. Karen?